everyone. We're on day six of Revenge of the Petites, and who is the lovely lady who just waved at you? Ashley Jane! Oh, Ashley Jane, okay. Yes. Uh, ATK veteran. Yes! You've shot for our sites before? Yes. You've fucked girls for our sites before? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm thinking like 10, maybe Thousand? over 10 times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Lots, lots and lots of ladies. Yes, you are a favorite uh, go-to girl of Marco. He oh, speaks yeah. highly of you. He says you're very responsible. Yes. You show up. Good girl here, Ashley Jane. So, hope you guys are listening. Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. So, when you found out ATK was doing their first feature film, were you really excited that you were asked to be part of it? Oh, man, yeah. I mean, I love the whole ATK thing. You know, like, I love the natural girl look and... All of the ATK girls are really pretty and unique, and I knew just from looking at the site that the film was going to be amazing. I knew there was going to be a lot of work put into it. I know that, you know, the quality was going to be really high. So I was definitely really excited that I got asked to be a part of it. It feel, makes, me, makes me feel special. So you feel that it has high potential? Yes, definitely. Okay, on that note, if the movie takes off, are you going to take off with it? Or do you just want that to be like maybe you're going out? Like, what is like what is this movie going to do for you? Like, um, You know, honestly, I would love to do more maybe like mainstream stuff. So I would love it, you know, to maybe help launch me in sort of that direction. Not that I don't love, love, love having sex on camera. I love it. But I also love, you know, kind of the acting aspect of it, which is really exciting for me because I don't get to act a lot, you know, in um, the adult industry. So it's, it's really cool that it's so heavily focused on acting in this film. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your character. Well, I am Ashley, and I am sort of like the head house mama for the petites. I'm kind of like, you know, the one in charge, the one who makes the rules, the one who says, no, you can't stay here, yes, you can stay here, so try to look out for everyone. Okay, and your character, does she have sex? Or does she assist, like, director of sex? Like, what is she? She's sort of, you know, well, she's in charge of everybody, so she's kind of a little dominant. She she definitely likes to be in control in the bedroom, and she likes to encourage other people to, you know, figure out about themselves sexually, and um, she she loves the ladies, and but she definitely... Uh, takes more of like a in charge dominant kind of role. So you're doing girls only in this film, yes. right? And yes. you had a spicy dominant sex scene with Riley Reed, is it? I'm not sure what it's her Riley. Name. Oh, Riley. Us. Yeah. And Leilani? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. And was that a groovy scene? Yeah. Leilani is super, super, super hot. It was awesome. I mean, not that Riley's not hot either, but she was just so beautiful with her, with like the uh, smooth ball skin. gag in her mouth, and I don't know. It was just, it was really, really hot. Yeah, it was, it was sexy. She was a very, very good little. She took Submissive. it really well. Yeah, it was, it was, it was great. It was really hot. I loved working. With I was her in there for the first half, and she was like, oh, like trying to talk, but you know, she didn't really want to. She just wanted to be there yeah. and take it. it yeah, was very willing almost. And she has these beautiful, <laughs> beautiful lips beautiful lips and beautiful like big eyes so it was perfect yeah. it was great yeah it was it was definitely a turn on definitely stellar okay so are there any girls you don't get to have sex with on camera that you would have liked to celeste i love <laughs> celeste <laughs> i love having sex with celeste i don't okay. get to have sex with her that's unfortunate mm. um i don't know her name i know it's so bad i'm so bad with names She's got, like, the most beautiful boobs I've ever seen in my entire life. Did she do Danny Daniels? She's the, she's the Theta. She's the Theta. She's got... Celeste? No, not Celeste. She's got uh, long... Cassandra. Oh, maybe that's her. She's got, like, super beautiful, like, it, I mean, it's almost like they're fake. Like, beautiful, like, jello mold boobs. And then, like, this gorgeous, like... Just perfect ass. I would, I'm constantly just staring at her, like constantly. Wherever she goes, I'm just like infatuated.
you smoke a joint and then like go on set? What do you do? Um, I mean, it definitely helps to read through it because the more comfortable you are, the more you're able to kind of connect with the lines. So the more you can read through it and be comfortable with when you're coming in, the more it can just kind of like naturally flow out of you. And a little trick that I have read about um, that always kind of helps me in any scene, even if it's something little, is you're always wanting something, whether it's wanting someone to like you or wanting to convince someone of something or wanting to get someone to do something. Like, So if you can just figure out what it is, like your motivation kind of for your character, what it is that you want in a particular scene, whether it's something as small as like you want to eat because you're hungry or you want somebody to love you because you need love. Like, if you can just try to figure that out and come from that kind of a place, I think it really helps make things more authentic when you're doing your lines. So. Mm, very cool, very cool. Okay, um, I can't think of anything else. I was going to ask one more question, but it like slipped my mind. Probably because I talk too much. <laughs> no, it's okay. It was about your character. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, did you go to college? No. I oh. went to um, massage therapy school, so oh. I went to a trade school. How old are you right now? 24. 24. You, pay, you play I'm a young so girl. I'm so old. No, 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 that's okay. I'm 27. Don't say that, girl. Don't say that. Your interviewer is 27. I'm so. 19. But did you ever think about getting in a sorority yourself or anything like that? Or no, this is just like you living it up for one time. Like, you've never done this, so you're really acting. You know, it's funny. I mean, I'm kind of like really able to identify with the petite characters, you know, and the whole goal of the petites because I was never really like... I mean, I was never really like one of those like cheerleader, like spunky college chicks, you know, who like everybody loved, you know, like the Thetas would be in this. So for me, I mean, if I were to have been in a sorority, this would probably be, you know, the type of sorority that I would have been in, sort of like a, I don't want to say like a misfit, but kind of like um, just not your typical sorority girl sorority. So it, it fits really well with my personal life as well. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> and did you ever think like, oh, um, hold on one second, one second. Not a sorority, but what else can I, there's another, oh yeah. So now that you were almost done with the film and you've had weeks to read the script over and over again, what do you feel the moral of Revenge of the Petites is? Like what is the message we're trying to send out as a group to the audience? that beauty comes in all different shapes and sizes. All right, Ashley. Well, you're obviously an example of that. Thank you so oh, much for the you. lovely interview. Yes, and I'm going to send you on set because I hear somebody hunting you down. Of course. Sneak right. away. Do your catwalk. <laughs> Bye.